Ok, uh, Alpha Sonic uh, Mirage Aficionados, uh, Mirage Aficionados, we are here another weekend. Uh, spend with uh, Ray and uh, uh, Gordon, kind of look kind of late for them in the UK. Here, Alex is in the uh, US. Uh, we were able to get through the uh, dock, um, it's pretty functional. We use also a, a something that uh, uh, we borrow, I borrow from uh, uh, Turk from 8 bit Force. This is the Retro Shield with the 5503 connected here. Uh, you can look in the Alpha Alpha 95139 repository. You can see the code to reverse engineer that. But the point is today that we have all the voices of the Alpha Sonic uh, uh, Mirage. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, the sound for now. We have uh, different discs uh, in the SD card and I'm going to try this one and compile and show you how this is going to work. I'll do it live so I don't know how I'm sure demonstrations are typically sucky. <laughs> but we'll give it a shot. So I'm compiling for the... Um, this is a Teensy Duino 4.1 and this is the Mirage that is booting. Ray fixed uh, some things in the um, in the display, so it doesn't flicker anymore, which is really nice. And uh, this is a different sample disc. So we got a lot of uh, nice uh, uh, sounds from the original uh, Mirage. And uh, here we have the fu uh, fully functional uh, keypad. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Some of you might be familiar with this disc. Uh, let's try to change and put another disc. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm doing this A4. These are discs that we converted right from uh, the floppy to the .img. So loading, booting. It's extremely fast, guys. These are uh, boots directly from the SD card. Here you go. Now there's a controller. Right? So we basically have a fully functional, uh, bit accurate Mirage. So I still have some boards out. I'm gonna send a couple of boards to a couple of people that wanna try this. And uh, yeah, let me know if you need some and if you'd like to try it and give us feedback. Thanks.